Have you ever wondered the reason why your car's engine is overheating? Don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to show you the most common causes of engine overheating and how to have it fixed. Whether you are a driver or a driver beginner, you should watch this video because this will help you to maintain your car's engine. First, how you will know that your engine has been overheated? If your engine is going to overheat, the current temperature warning light will stay on on dashboard. If current temperature warning light stays on on dashboard, you have to immediately stop your car and determine the reason why your engine is overheating. But before diagnosis, wait an, wait an engine to call. If the data cap is removed from the hot engine, this will happen. This happens if the data cap is removed from the hot engine. So, before performing any procedures on cooling system, you have to wait an engine to cool for at least 30 minutes. Let's dive into reasons causes your car's engine to overheat. And how to fix it. What I require you is to watch a video fully for better understanding. Mostly, engine overheats due to defective cooling system because you know that cooling system in a car maintain and regulate engine temperature as constant. So, whenever there is a problem with cooling system, your engine will heat also. That is why it is necessary to check the cooling system component because it is the most common causes of the engine overheating. The first causes of an engine overheating is defective thermostat. You know that the function of thermostat in car engine cooling system is to block current flow to the radiator when engine is not at the normal operating temperature and allow flow to the radiator when engine is at the normal operating temperature. You are hearing that whenever the thermostat is failed, engine will overheat. Let's assume that the thermostat is stuck closed. At this time, no flow to the radiator will be failed as you see. Here, there is some action is to take in order to make sure that our thermostat is in a good operation or is functioning well in a cooling system. Here, there is some action is to take in order to make sure that our thermostat is operating in a good condition. First, remove thermostat and check its operation by pressing it into hot water with a temperature range between 85 and 95 degrees Celsius. If thermostat is pressed in that water, it will suddenly open. If not, have it repressed. The second thing which causes engine to overheat is low coolant level in the reservoir. Engine may overheat due to low coolant level in the reservoir. You know that coolant must be between maximum lines and minimum lines in the coolant reservoir. A coolant reservoir is transparent and object. You can see a level of coolant. If a coolant level is low, you have to refill a current reservoir with a new current. If a current is being added in the reservoir more often than unusually, the leakage will be felt in your system. If you are refilling your current reservoir more often than unusually, there is a leakage in your cooling system. You have also to check an leakages from a cooling system. The third thing which causes engine to overheating is a blockage radiator. Restriction in radiator will prevent a coolant from reaching inside of an engine. Here there is some action is to take if your radiator has been blocked. But how you will know that your radiator has been blocked? If you discover that there is no flow of water inside of radiator when engine is running, your radiator is blocked. Here there is action you have to take. The action to take to remove restriction from the radiator is to use the air, air blow gun. Air blow gun is easy to remove or to blow away restrictions from a radiator or other devices. Defective radiator fan drive is the most common cause of an engine overheating because you know that fan keeps air moving through radiator when the car is stationary or when it is moving. For cooling hot water from upper radiator to lower radiator, that's why whatever there is problem with radiator fan, an engine will not be cooled. So here there is action to take. The action to take when the radiator fan is defective or is malfunctioning. 
The first action you have to take is to check your fan belt movement if it is mechanically driven by an engine or to check fault from engine control unit if a fan is electrically driven. Defective water pump is the most common cause of an engine overheating. Water pump draws cold current from radiator and supplied to an engine. If water pump fails, engine will overheat. So what to do if water pump is malfunctioning? You have to check leakages on water pump. If leakages is found, have it replaced because you know that the water pump has no repair. Also check the water pump belt if it is functioning properly because you know that a pump gets a rotation from a crankshaft via a belt. So whenever there is a problem with a driver belt, no pump movement will be ferried. Leakage is the most common cause of an engine overheating. This is where an leakage can be found among a cooling system component. A leakage can be found on thermostat housing, water pump, hoses connection, core plugs, radiator, or another component. But this is the main component where a leakage can be found. But how you will you know that there is a leakage on cooling systems? You will discover leakages from cooling system when you are refilling a reservoir tank or current tank with more current than unusual. Whenever you are refilling a current reservoir with a new current than unusual, you will discover that there is a leakage in your system. So you have to repair it quickly, as soon as, as possible. Here, action to take. Check leakages among a cooling system component, like a leakage on radiator, by performing a visual inspection, by performing a visual inspection, you can see a leakage on among a cooling system component. Check a leakage on radiator. Check leakage on water pump. Check also if upper and lower data hoses are properly connected. If they are disconnected, you have to connect them properly. Those are the things which can cause an engine to overheat from a cooling system. If you found that this video is useful, remember to make subscribe and make it share with family and friends. Thank you.